friends and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something that I've wanted to do for the longest time and that is a Harry Potter theory. Now I am a really big fan of Harry Potter. I'm currently rereading the books and I recently found out that I am in the house Hufflepuff which I am so salty about but that is a story for another time. But the main reason I never did a theory or talked about it at all on my channel is because it is such a complicated universe that I was scared to do a theory because I knew I would get something wrong. That was until I came across this one. So the Wizarding World can do so many amazing and incredible things and I think we can both agree that going to Hogwarts and living in the Wizarding World would just be absolutely phenomenal. I would do anything to go there personally. But I, along with many others, have wondered why in such an advanced Wizarding World do they not use Muggle technology? For example, things like phones or even the internet because these would have saved their butts so, so many times. Seriously, think of all the times that a simple phone call would have saved someone's lives in the Wizarding World. But instead, the use of Muggle technology is not only scarce and frowned upon, but there are actually some laws against it. So today, we will be discussing why. So clearly, I was not the only one wondering why wizards don't use Muggle technology. Because there is an entire page dedicated on Pottermore to discussing wizards and their technology. And according to JK Rowling on Pottermore, the reason that the wizarding community doesn't use magic is because it's unnecessary. Now, I believe this is true to a certain extent. If you can just say the words Akira and any instrument, book or animal comes directly to you, you really don't need a lot of Muggle technologies. And JK K. Rowling also explains that the wizarding community doesn't use muggle technologies because it is highly frowned upon in their society. As the community prides itself on the fact that they don't need to use muggle technologies, in effect you will find many purebloods boasting to their friends that they have never touched a muggle artifact. However, in the wizarding world, everyone is always keen to learn new things. So I find it extremely difficult to believe that out of the entire wizarding community, only a scarce few are interested in muggle technologies just because they are unnecessary or culturally frowned upon. Now, as I said before, I do believe a part of it is to do with it being unnecessary. For example, a lot of our technology, they really don't need to use. However, things like the internet and cell phones, I don't believe are unnecessary at all. In fact, it would benefit their lives and even save lives. So why then aren't wizards using muggle technology such as cell phones or the internet? And the real reason that the wizarding world doesn't use muggle technologies is because if you enchant something that is anything more than say a screwdriver, a book or a pencil, it will eventually become self-aware, meaning it will soon be able to see and perceive things and basically come alive. This is especially prominent in muggle objects that use electricity because the magic mixed in with the electricity causes the object to become self-aware and wake up so much easier. This is because of the magic that is flowing through the object. It slowly causes it to come alive. And there are actually quite a few examples of this in the wizarding world that we know of. The biggest example of all is of course Arthur Weasley's flying car. This car after being enchanted slowly wakes up and becomes self-aware. As a result it kicks Harry and Ron out of the car and backs up into the forest where it goes rogue. And the students of Hogwarts also tell a horror story about a man who smuggled in an enchanted watch and how this watch slowly became self-aware and it did not end well for this guy. And that is the reason why the wizarding world doesn't use muggle technologies because if they do they become self-aware and basically the wizarding world can't have flying cars running around everywhere. It would definitely threaten them being exposed. This would also explain the law in the wizarding world regarding enchanting muggle objects. As the law makes it illegal for wizards to enchant enchant muggle objects and use them. The and use them part was added in by Arthur Weasley himself so that he could continue to mess around with 
muggle objects. But if it wasn't for him, the law would be that it is illegal for any wizard to enchant a muggle object. And I mean, why else would they need to have this law unless muggle objects do come alive after they have been enchanted? Which we can clearly see in the movies that this is exactly what happens. And if you're still not convinced, just think, we already know that magic messes with multiple muggle objects already, especially those powered by electricity. And that is the entire theory. I personally think it makes a lot of sense and is a lot more suitable than just it's unnecessary and it's frowned upon. No, instead to me it makes a lot more sense that there is an actual reason why they don't use muggle objects and that reason is that muggle objects that have been enchanted become self-aware. So if you did enjoy this video and you want me to make more Harry Potter videos be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because I upload two times a week. I upload a lifestyle slash DIY video every Wednesday and a theory video slash movie based video like this one every single Saturday. Now something new that I'm starting on my channel is every week I'll be answering a question from the comments in my videos just so you guys can get to know me that little bit better. And this week's question was from Nessa Seely, I think is how you say, and they asked where do you think of these theories? And to be honest, these theories come from all kinds of places. The ones that I think of personally tend to come when I'm watching a movie and notice something that hasn't really been explained. So for example, if I'm watching Coraline and I notice something, it just kind of comes to me almost. Like, <laughs> there's no real method. As for the theories that aren't personally mine, but are the ones that I share on this channel, which you can always tell if a theory isn't mine because I will link the original person that came up with the theory in the description box below. But with those, I tend to just scroll through Pinterest and Instagram and stuff and they just pop up on my feed. And if I think that this is an amazing theory that deserves more attention, I will then share it with you all on my channel. So that was a very long-winded answer. Hopefully that answered your questions and helped you to get to know me a little better. And be sure to leave more questions in the comment section down below because I will be answering one question from the comments every single week. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of my face, I am on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!